Drop a like on this video in the next 5 seconds if you guys want to get the Season 3 Battle Pass for free. What's going on friends and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here onto the channel. Today's video we are going to be looking at the 14 days of summer event that a lot of people are actually overlooking considering it is going to be coming out right with the release of season 3 in these next two weeks. We're going to be looking at some of the possible skins, rewards, challenges, and everything that's going to be coming with this massive event so make sure you guys stick around to the very end you're not going to want to miss this one. Now before we hop into a game and look at this of course we got to go ahead and send our daily gift the item shop, although there is not any new skins, there is a lot of awesome stuff in here. It's pretty hard to choose what to send sometimes when there's a lot of awesome skins, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and send the Chaos Agent because this guy just looks way too cool. Today's gift is going to Sassy Cassie 71 so shout out to you for supporting the channel, and if you guys want to be like Cassie and receive a gift in a future video, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and also leave your epic usernames down in the comment section below so I can add you and send you the gift. And as always, if you guys are going to be buying anything in the shop, we got a pretty stacked shop today. Make sure to use my supported creator code NERPA. You guys have been absolutely smashing the support with the code. And at the time I'm making this video, you guys are about to hit 18,000 people using the code, which is literally insane. Remember, once you guys hit 20,000 supporter creators using code NERPA, I am going to be doing a 20 season 3 battle pass giveaway, which at this rate, you guys are literally going to be there in the next few days, which is absolutely insane. So if you guys want to do that battle pass giveaway, make sure to use my code. Tell your mom, your brother, your dad, your fish, your pets, everyone to use code NERPA. All right, let's go, boys. Yesterday, we actually got destroyed. You guys ended up actually winning the 1,000 V-Buck wager because we lost. All right, let's go, boys. Full squad of subscribers. We're going salty as usual. I realized watching back some of my recent videos we always land salty I feel like secretly that's one of my favorite spots to land which is probably why we go there so much I need a weapon I need a weapon I don't have a gun we're dead dude all my teammates died and they have the guns the fact that I'm still alive right now is actually mind-blowing oh I literally landed at this house and every single room on both floors, there was not a single weapon I could have used. There was minis and a fishing rod. What kind of RNG with loot is that, man? Literally, I'm never landing at the house again. Never. I spit on that house. Never going there again. All right, we're taking a different approach this game. We're going to land Pleasant just because it's a little bit off the bus route. I know for a fact the houses over at Pleasant are not going to do me dirty like they did that last game. But like I said in the beginning of the video, today we are going to be focusing on the 14 days of summer event that we previously saw Fortnite do almost a year ago back in Fortnite Chapter 1. Now the main reason I wanted to make a video talking about this covering the early leaks and news is mainly for the fact that I have not seen anyone else in the Fortnite community actually bring this up. And if Fortnite is following the same timeline they did for the last event the 14 days of summer event is supposed to start in literally two weeks from the day i'm making this video oh thank god i actually got a gun wow i actually have a weapon and this guy does not so i'm gonna get him oh what the wait he did have a gun. What was he doing? And of course, I know there's always brand new people coming into the community here in Fortnite. So if you guys were not playing the game back then, in this video, I will cover everything you need to know on what took place in the last event. So you guys could have a really good idea of what's going to be coming for this year's 2020 14 days of Fortnite. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, we are going to be expecting the 14 days of summer event to actually be happening here within these next few weeks. As everyone knows by now, season three is going to be released on June 17th. And if we follow the same time, timeline that they did the event last chapter or a year ago the 14 days of summer event actually started on june 25th now the day i'm actually recording this is june 10th so like i said it's about 15 days away or a little bit over two weeks from when we are going to be expecting this and like i said it's only if they follow the same timeline obviously we're in a brand new chapter they seem to be doing some of the things that they did in chapter one a little bit differently so they could definitely move the dates around a little bit but we do have a really really rough idea of when to expect this event to start sometime late june or at the latest it'll start early early july oh he's literally wait how he literally is shooting me through the tree all right well oh there's like literally squads on every i'm getting shot from like every angle right now oh my god one clip of ar 
three <laughs> three eliminations. Yeah, definitely. We're literally just... All the people running into are terrible, though. Now, for those of you guys that were actually playing Fortnite back in June 25th of 2019, you guys would know that the 14 Days of Summer event was a very, very, very amazing one for a lot of different reasons. For starters, the whole basis of this event, obviously, it is called the 14 Days of Summer. During the event, they actually released a 14 Days of Summer challenge set where there, of course, was 14 different challenges and every single day, a brand new challenge was unlocked and available to actually be completed in order to get a free reward so right off the bat we had a confirmed 14 free rewards and items that literally consisted of all types of cosmetics in fortnite battle royale we had emotes back blings harvesting tools uh, gliders, there was even contrails, loading screens, like badge emoticons, like literally every type of cosmetic in Fortnite, you were actually able to get a free one in this challenge set alone, which I thought was amazing. And of course, for all of you guys that did not actually play the game back then, I will throw up images of all the different cosmetics just so you guys could get a really good idea. Obviously, it was geared towards the summer theme, so a lot of the stuff that we saw so a lot of the free items and rewards that we saw during this time were also based on that theme as well. All right, I dropped you. I have a med kit right here for you, buddy. Nice. He's using all the bouncers I laid down too, which is actually really smart. Now, of course, probably one of the coolest things about this event is the fact that we were able to get a brand new challenge set that unlocked every single day for a whole two weeks. On top of that, we had a bunch of free items and rewards. Another really awesome feature that they've never done before before this event was every single day of the event on top of getting a brand new challenge unlocked. They actually brought back a vaulted weapon or item into the game for a full 24 hours so every single day of this event we had a brand new weapon or item coming back into the game for that day so it made the game really fresh it kept it really really fun because every single day you logged on to fortnite it was something new and there was brand new stuff in the game literally for a full two weeks which which made this event really, really fun, on top of obviously getting all the free rewards I know everyone loved as well, too. Now, of course, I'll throw some images up on the screen of some of the unvaulted weapons, and you guys gotta keep in mind that this event took place over a year ago, so some of these weapons that were vaulted at the time and came back into the game literally are available in the game now. What are you doing, Marshmallow, huh? What are you doing? This guy's name is behind you, 60, but he was right in front of me. <laughs> All right, well, that's a bot. Hopefully the rest of the squad's bots too, so we don't actually... I don't want to have to build fight and die to zone or anything. I got him. He's on the bridge. All right, there we go. I got... Honestly, I was a little bit nervous there because I saw that guy had a sniper, and there was like a small percentage in my head that was like, this guy's going to turn around and just bot me in the face. All right, we're looking good. 11 eliminations. There's only two of us left, but we do have their reboot. So if we can get to a reboot van, we should be good to go. Now, something else they did for the 14 days of summer event back in 2019 that is most likely going to be happening here in Chapter 2 Season 3 because the event is going to take place once we have Season 3 released is the fact that there was actually a bunch of little subtle map changes placed all over the map that actually gave us some brand new POIs. Now, like I said, this was only for the event, so these little map changes here and there sprinkled around were nothing major. It's not like they were brand big POIs that were named or anything, but they did give us these like little spots that also played into some of the brand new challenges we saw during this time. So I thought that was actually really cool. Oh God. Okay, okay. Woo! Let's go! I got you, teammate. I got you, teammate. Let's freaking go, baby. We got a jump pad. Man, these guys had some good loot over here too. But like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by that squad, we are going to be seeing little map changes and I'll throw images up on the screen. Like I said, the main reason I am talking about this and showing you guys what took place for the 14 days of summer event last year is mainly because they are probably going to be following a very very similar format for the event that they do this year so it's really good to look back and see what to expect obviously we're probably going to get 14 days of summer challenges where there's going to be big surprise 14 different challenges it's probably going to be the same where we unlock them every day there's going to be little things here and there added to the map that probably are going to play into those challenges and overall it's probably going to be very similar to what we saw them do last year the only difference is of course a lot of the cosmetics and everything that we're going to be seeing are going to be very very different oh it's a 2v2 i'm pretty sure it's a 2v2 
They're gonna run out of mats eventually. They're gonna run out of mats. Oh, bro, he's so weak. He's one shot. Oh, I wish my teammate had his AR out. Dude, I've tagged these guys so much. Nice. Let's go, baby. All right, we thirsted. It's a 1v2, 1v2. Easy one, easy win. Boom! With the headshot. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We we clutched it up, man. We clutched it up. Let's see. We ended off with 16 eliminations as well. Dang, we definitely redeemed ourselves for that terrible first game that we had. Now, one other thing that they did do during this event is obviously a lot of the item shop skins that were coming out during this event. So like that two to three week period that took place. A lot of them were obviously geared towards the summer. That's when we had the summer drift and a bunch of other different skins that I'll throw up on the screen so you guys can get a feel for what type of cosmetics and what type of theme they really followed with a lot of the items released into the shop. And of course, they also followed the theme that a lot of the free rewards that we got during the 14 days of summer challenges as well, which I thought was super, super cool. The item shop during that time period was definitely stacked with a lot of awesome skin. And although we don't have any official skins or cosmetics for this event found in the files yet since it is two weeks away we do have some really realistic concepts of what some of the awesome designers in the community actually made so i'll throw those up on the screen so you guys could look at these like i said these aren't confirmed but this will give you a rough idea of what to expect when i talk about the summer theme for a lot of the skins coming into the shop and also what we could be expecting for some of the free items and rewards during the challenges as well we have a summer version of peely we have a summer jonesy a summer fish stick a lot of the more popular skins that have had a lot of variants is typically what they will use during these events to give them these summer vibes and summer themes. So uh, that is why I showed you guys these concepts over other skins too. They're lobbing grenades at me. What the heck? Oh, okay. Well, these guys are definitely bots. I thought they were real people's. The hip fire drum gun. You're not escaping from that, my friend. You are not escaping from that. I just realized I haven't even popped the minis yet. <laughs> well, yeah, these guys are clearly bots. All right, there we go. Haha. <laughs> Ah, uh, just like that, they are all dead, and the hunt continues. Flying around in helis, just searching for squads is actually so fun. It's fun until you jump on a super sweaty squad that just destroys you. Then it, <laughs> then it's a bad idea. Oh, like, this is a real squad right here. This is a real squad. I'm gonna die here. Yeah. Literally, as I'm talking about how you jump on a sweaty squad, I mean, these guys don't even seem sweaty. I just, that guy just beamed me with his scar. Well, it's all up to my teammates now. <laughs> Dang it. I should have just stayed with them. All right, you guys got this. Omega Shark and 2X Beast. Nice. Let's go, boys. Let's go. This guy's really risking it building up this high, but. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Oh, Omega Shark is lasering. Oh, no. Omega Shark, I don't think he's using headphones. Dude, the guy was literally rezzing the dude he just knocked right next to him. Oh, the stress. It stresses me out watching people play. Oh, no. Omega Shark could have been the, the hero right there. This isn't looking good. Grab the drum gun. Grab the drum gun. It's your only hope. Yep. Well... We gave it our best shot. My squad went over to redeem me and avenge me. I respect that. They were not successful, but they gave it their best. Unfortunate. All right, so that is like after you guys in today's video. Before we end it off, of course, let me know your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section below. I'm really curious, of all of you guys watching this video, let me know if you were playing Fortnite back when we had the original 14 days of summer in 2019. I want to know where some of you old school OG players are, and I want to know where all the new guys are at as well, because I got much love for all of you. That's all I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.